Good morning, world. How is everyone doing this morning? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. I'll go through the chat list here. Good morning to John, the Cincinnati picker, who was first. Ha ha. Monty. Good morning, Monty. L, the 24 picker, older than me. Chris, congrats on your first FBA shipment there, bud. Good morning, Popper John. Thanks for coming in. Danny, EMM. Good morning, Hawk. Kent, good morning, Ann. Maniac Picker, Mike, the Maniac Picker. Good morning, bud. How you doing? Hope everyone's Friday is going to be awesome. Um, have three things to pack up this morning. Not very much, but those three things were 200 bucks worth, so not too bad. So um, I always prefer, you know, just a couple things for $200 versus 20 things. So that's what I've been heading towards this past month, two months or so, to uh, make my margins better. Um, yeah, so I'll wait till the everyone flows in here. We'll start up, fire up. You guys fire away if you have any questions. I hope everyone enjoyed the uh, the sold video, the what sold video. It was pretty good stuff. You know, that was a bunch of stuff around Christmas time, so it was a bunch of really good sales. Good morning, Sue Ann. How you doing? Glad you popped in. Sue Ann's been a long time subscriber, but uh, yeah, she's busy, so she doesn't get to pop in the chats that much, but uh, yeah. I remember Sue Ann subscribing pretty early on. So thank you, Sue Ann. Appreciate it. But yeah, lots of good stuff in this what sold video. Um, I have not got the things done that I wanted to get done, of course. Um, I don't know if anybody can tell by my voice, but after the the uh, the live show on Wednesday, where I, th I was hoping it was allergies, um, that afternoon I did the sold video and I was just going downhill fast. I got su I got a super head cold, just came on just, just like that, you know, and yesterday was pretty bad. And today I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit better. I had a hot shower this morning, but, uh, it was just, it's, 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 uh, weird how Justin was sick and, oh yeah, I'm and <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Thanks money. I figured I did, you know, but yeah, it was funny. Justin was sick this morning and I was like, man. It's just so funny. He lives down the road and, you know, this isn't the flu. This is just a head cold or whatever. I probably picked it up in the thrift store. <laughs> and uh, that's something we were talking about in Justin's chat this morning. It's like, you know, I, I usually carry around uh, hand wipes in my truck. So every time we leave the thrift store, I get in my truck and, you know, wipe my hands off with these hand wipes and stuff. But uh, last week I had ran out and forgot to put any back in and ta-da, head cold. So I don't know if that was coincidence or if it had anything to do with it or what, but, uh, yeah, carry around some hand wipes or some Purell in your vehicle when you're thrifting, especially if you go to the bins, that place is disgusting. So, oh, let me see here. Oh, I just got like 15 text messages. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sue Ann day jobs is sometimes cray cray. Yep. Yep. I know that, and we appreciate your efforts, Sue Ann. Thank you for being a longtime subscriber. Oh, yeah, I am, and this I am, like, super stuffy, and we have, uh, my wife and I's rule is that if one of us is sick, you have to sleep in the guest bedroom, so I've been in the guest bedroom for the past two nights, <laughs> but that's okay. That's, you know, my wife works full-time. She has to get up early. The last thing I want to do is keep her up snoring because I'm all stuffed up, so, yeah. But I have been still getting up and making her coffee and uh, taking her to the train station, even though I felt like crap. Yeah. 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 Head colds do suck, Michelle. And, uh, but it could be worse. You know, it could be a throat issue or a stomach issue. I'd rather have the head cold than the throat or a stomach deal. Yeah. Good morning, Lex. Thank you for popping in. Thank you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> And Monty went Tuesday, doctor bronchi uh to the doctor had bronchitis and sinus infection. Yeah. It's going around, didn't it? It is going around. I think uh L I think is the peeps at the gym. Never wipe anything down. Yeah. It, germs are everywhere. And it's a bottom line is you're gonna get sick. You can do things to mitigate it, but it's going to happen. Good morning, Tracy. Thank you for popping into the chat. Yes, Andy. <laughs> uh did shave. Yeah. I got tired of that scruffiness of the scratchiness. Thank you for popping in, Andy. 
<laughs> yeah, that's what I thought when Justin said he was sick this morning. Piper John I was like, oh, it's a quinky dink. Because like I said, Wednesday, I just, after the live show, I went, I was like, crap, break out the Alka-Seltzer, flu and cold, and start taking my, my uh, zinc chews. Good morning, Nathan. Thank you for popping in, bud. Sorting his magic, MTG is Magic the Gathering, Magic the Gathering, if anyone doesn't know in the chat, he's sorting his Magic the Gathering cards. Good morning, Dawn. How are you doing this morning? Yeah, I feel, I'm just, I'll say, you know, I'm probably 50% if I had to put a percentage on it. I still feel after the show, I'm going to get my stuff packed up, which that's the thing about reselling. You don't have a day off. If you're sick, too bad. Get your stuff packed and get it to the mailman. <laughs> and that's what I've been doing yesterday. I packed things up and took it out the mailman. Today, I'm going to pack my things up and make sure they get out. So, yep, yep. Good morning, Jacob. Thank you for popping in, bud. <laughs> no, Kent, we've, we've never even met face to face. Justin, be lucky to kiss this, though. <laughs> Just kidding. That's awesome, Andy. Andy's already got 15 listings done this morning. Wow. He's a go getter. Andy really takes advantage when he gets, takes the day off of work. Yeah, my mom used to do that, Lex, the Vicks Vapor Rub. That's a, yeah, that's a, definitely, definitely. We used to, that's a, I don't know if it's a Southern thing or what, but my mom was a Vicks Vapor Rub. Yep, big time. That and Hot Toddies. Anybody know what a Hot Toddy is? It's a whiskey and hot whiskey, lemon juice, and honey. Soothe the throat. I just have tea and honey now. <laughs> I don't even have whiskey in the house. I'm not much of a drinker. If I drink, it's usually just a beer or two. Yep. Under your nose. Yeah, I have one of those Vicks. Uh, uh, they're like a tube and it's like a sniffing tube where you inhale the vapor, you know, the, the mentholatum, you know? Yeah. Those are pretty cool as well. If you've never used one of those, you go and it coats your sinuses with all that stuff. Yeah. But anyway, it's, it could be worse. That's all I can say. Uh, I'm pretty lucky. I'm hoping, you know, it's getting yesterday. I was worse than today and hopefully tomorrow I'm better than today. And by Sunday it's out thrifting again. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I would call off too, Andy, that cold. That's like, that's like the Dakotas type of cold. That's, it's crazy. Yeah. I'm a big proponent of hot tea and honey. L, uh, when I'm sick, hot tea and honey. So, and some lemon, maybe. <clears throat> Good morning, David. David, the reseller man, my uh, my super chat king. Awesome. Thank you for all the all that you've done there, David. Appreciate it. Uh, Sean's asking if anyone has shipped has my items. I have not, but uh, if anyone has, pipe in. I'm sure you just have to label the box, you know, or whatever it is. But I'm not positive because I have not. Lex, hopefully the government opens so tragic for people that go in and affect it. Yeah, it's absolutely. And what it's really affecting is all the, especially in being in the DC area, all those restaurants and the cabs and the people that drop Ubers and all that stuff have taken a big hit. I'm talking 50 to 75% down because of the government shutdown, all these mom and pop shops. It's, it's, it's pretty horrific. You know, actually people don't, if you live out in the rest of the country, it probably hasn't had an effect on you that much. But in this area, it's been it's been really damaging. Um, all my neighbors around me, most of them work for the federal government, and all of them are furloughed without pay. Uh, but we're lucky; my wife has not been furloughed, or, and, and she's still getting paid. You know, so there are some people that are working without getting paid, like Coast Guard, TSA. But uh, my wife is working and getting paid, so we're really lucky. But if she wasn't, we would just, she, we'd be listing more stuff, you know, and make some money. Uh, and this, uh, yeah, have one of those sniffer things too. Uh, they, they work okay. You know, make your sinus cavity, uh, soothing a little bit. Absolutely. Monty, this hot toddies. Let me see here. I went on a little ramble there. uh huffing vicks yeah pretty much that's what you're doing huffing vicks checking in from philly just up the road from me then welcome philly philip 
Philipper. <laughs> Call you Phil. Uh, yeah, you're just a couple hours up the road from me. We're in the DC area. Uh, EMM. So after work, I decided, uh, Danny, I tried to decided to try to get my eBay store up and running. And at 12 a.m. this morning, I got a random phone call from someone trying to reach the suicide. Oh, well, that's crazy. That is crazy. That was good of you, Danny, because you obviously you didn't have to do that. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Sean has some air fresheners to ship. It's something, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely, and I forgot about that. Yeah, it, it may need to ship ground shipping for hazmat. You know, like some aerosol stuff or battery stuff. I don't, yeah, you know, I don't know. There's so many rules with hazmat. Let me see here. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Sorry, I'm getting lost here in the chat. <laughs> Good morning, Will. Honda Hangouts. Thank you for popping in, bud. No, I'm not feeling well at all. I'm about 50%. Yesterday, I was about 25%, so I'm getting better, but uh, not feeling well at all. My voice is about to go. I debated about, I was like, Justin, I debated about, you know, canceling my uh, video, but can't do that to my subscribers. I've had this thing scheduled and I got to be here. So you do what you got to do. You know? Uh, let me see. I think I finally caught up. That's crazy. Anissa, 10 cans of hairspray and FedEx wouldn't touch it. I mean, that's crazy too because FedEx has a ground option. So I don't know what the issue was, you know? And obviously, people ship hazmat stuff all the time, so I don't know what the deal was. Yeah, as Sean said, post office guy said to just bring it in. They have special labels, but need to figure out how much to charge for shipping. Yeah. You know, Danny, it's been so long since I set up my eBay stores. I can't remember if there's any even even any difference between a personal or business store. If anybody wants to chime in, that's done it recently. Um, yeah, and plus I'm kind of half in a daze today, so uh, I'm not thinking clearly. <laughs> oh man, sorry to hear that, Will. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going around. Like I said, it could be much worse, but uh, I'm pretty fortunate. Well, that's nuts, Andy, because that's, you know, I mean, I know they're explosive. I'm using that in quotes, but it's crazy. I had an interesting one, like I had a return requested on a uh, flannel shirt I sent out. You know, it's no big deal. They said they just changed their mind or whatever. And that happens. But, uh, you know, of course, eBay automatically approved the request, which is fine. And I got a message from the person this morning saying they had, they had ordered two flannel shirts and they actually liked mine and requested to return the wrong one to me. And as that, and as I actually already sent out the shirt to me. So I told them they needed to call eBay, you know, <laughs> at least they were honest about it. They could have just sent me the wrong one. I've been like WTF mate, you know, but, uh, yeah, it wasn't that big of a deal. Anyway, it's only an $18 shirt, but, uh, hopefully eBay will just close the return on my account and he can, request the return on whoever he bought it from and i'm willing to if he'll just send me the label from the return i'll just pop it right back in the mail for him but uh we'll see what ebay says i don't know it's the first time that's ever happened to me so i don't know exactly sean they ship that stuff all the time so there's got to be a way to send it That's nuts, Anissa. I'm sorry you had to deal with that. I know you wouldn't have gone through that many hoops if it wasn't a big sale. So, yeah, that was, that's a big stinker. It's almost like, you know, it's one of those situations you're trying to be honest about it. You're trying to be upfront about it. But if you would have just put it in a box and shipped it, more than likely it would have went through anyway, you know. And I hate to be dishonest like that. And it's not really being dishonest, but, you know, 
they're going to give you the runaround that you see why people are a little bit shady with stuff. <laughs> Alex. Oh, gosh. And Nathan, that happened to him on a $400 item request of return. I accepted. Then he messaged the next morning saying it was a mix up and he wanted to keep my item. Yeah. How did that work out, Nathan? Did they just close the return? Oh, no, absolutely not, Sean. But, you know, you can send that, you know, that hairspray, if you ship it just like UPS ground, nothing's going to happen to it, you know? Oh, is it kind of like, you know, flying on an airplane in this area? You can only ship like four ounce bottles. <laughs> That's crazy stuff. But, you know, sales have been slow, of course, because I haven't listed, I haven't listed anything. It's been four or five days since I listed anything. I totally planned on listing stuff Wednesday afternoon after I got through filming the what sold video, but just out for the count. And yesterday, obviously I didn't feel like doing anything today. I really don't feel like doing anything, but I need to do stuff. But, uh, I wanted to get, I got one of my, I got my, uh, backdrop mounts in and I got one of the, uh, backdrops itself in the other one's still on its way i wanted to get those put up as well because i wanted to do my photography my new photography video set up a video for that for saturday but uh i don't know if that's going to happen now i get some meds in me here in a little bit and uh see what what goes on for the rest of the day eBay closed the return after we called them and explained the situation. Yeah. And that's what I told this guy to do. I was like, you just need to call eBay. You know, I don't know what they'll tell him to do, but at least he's being honest about it. You know, because like I said, he could have just said, oh, oh, well, you know, that's awesome, Lex. Awesome, Anissa. Small sales add up. Smalls pay the bills. Yeah, absolutely. At dawn my weekend will be reorganizing inventory yeah I, I'm, I'm that's another thing i was going to do wednesday i was almost done with my hard goods inventory and i was going to finish that on wednesday it had probably taken me two or three hours but nope <laughs> i sat on the couch with the blanket and the pillow and uh alcohol seltzer and some ginger ale and uh, didn't do anything so yeah i got to finish my inventory i got to put up that backdrop and that doesn't even count listing you know and uh yeah we'll see how i feel on sunday i know for a fact we'll at least go to the the thrift store that's close to me for those everyone that's new in the chat my, my one of my main thrift stores i go to usually three on sunday and that's where all these halls come from is usually those three thrift stores but the the i have one literally across the road from me it's uh yeah right across the road literally you know like quarter mile away and um Depending on how I feel on Sunday, we may just hit that one. I don't know, you know, but we'll definitely at least hit that one. Good morning, Heart of Dixie Flipper. You have to explain to me one day what the cube farm is. I've seen you say that before, but uh, oh, that's cool. The baby, like mini mouse, or just just little bitty. Crocs. Yep. Yeah, absolutely, Don. That's it. My first goal was doing this video, and second one, I'm doing my items boxed up and stuff, get them out to the mailman. But the the, the hardest part about all this is my energy level is zero. You know, so well, that's awesome, Lex. Yeah, absolutely will. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Anissa. Thanks for reminding me. I knew I'd forget. Uh, let me grab that here. Oh, I got you. <laughs> the cube form. Talking about your cubicle. I got you. You're a nine to five. I hate those things. <laughs> uh, I hate those things. Okay. Sweater shaver. It's right here. This is a Wonder Lint sweater shaver, corded like we talked about. 
and I'm pretty sure this thing was like 40 or 50 bucks on Amazon. I, I don't think I have an Amazon affiliate link, but I'll put one up right after this video is over. Uh, this thing works wonders. It'll make a sweater if it has, you know, peeling those little balls all over a shirt or a sweater or anything. It'll shave those right off and make it look like new. So, yeah, wonder lint. It works really well. What you uh, what you do have to do though is it fills up, of course, and you got to empty this little thing. And also, when this fills up, I take the top off, and little balls and stuff that are some in it right now will get caught by the blades. Just clean out those balls and stuff, and it'll make it perform better and last longer. It's not a you know, yeah, it works well. Okay, what do we got here? Good morning, Adam, ADDG. Thanks for popping in, bud. Appreciate it. Yeah, that would be a nice Anissa, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and like I said, I will drop it. I'll put it, I'll put it as the number one affiliate link when I, I'll edit, when this video gets through processing, it takes like 30 minutes and I'll pop the affiliate, affiliate link in there. And anyone that needs anything, if they want one of those sweater shavers or bubble wrap or anything, appreciate it. If you use that, I get like a couple pennies. I think I've made like $5 total off Amazon affiliate links and I'm up to like, let me show you guys, give you an update what we're at on YouTube. Our YouTube, and this is mostly from, it's probably 50, 50 between ad revenue and super chats. So let me show you, uh, give my YouTube studio app up to $60 and 38 cents today. And this lags like two days. So, uh, this doesn't count like the live show from Wednesday, those super chats and, uh, yeah. So we're at $60 and 38 cents, 217,487 watch minutes in the last 28 days, which is really good because, you know, you need 240 to be monetized for the whole year. And I got that in the past month or so, 16,334 views, average view duration, just over 13 minutes, which is not great, but is what it is uh 309 new subscribers the past 28 days um watch time from subscribers 67.8 percent of watch time is from subscribers 28.2 percent from not non-subscribers and last 28 days 97.6 likes versus dislikes and there's my top videos as well. The number one video right now is episode 68, 25 items that sold on eBay, thir almost 14,000 watch minutes the past 28 days. So yeah, that's my transparency for the day. Oh man. Let me see here. Absolutely, Chris. And if, you, if you've watched my other videos, that's what I live by. You learn something new every day. Even when you're sick, you learn something new. Yeah, those, the, I think it, I get confused, but I think they're pills, pilling of a sweater. Yeah, that's what they're technically called. But uh, my wife corrects me all the time on that one because I've called it piling. <laughs> I will, Chris. Thank you, bud. I will put a, an affiliate link right after, like I said, this video after it's done. Oh, thank you. Karen Henderson, a new name in the chat with a super chat. Appreciate it, Karen. And welcome, 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 welcome. Appreciate that a million. Uh, let me see here. <laughs> Andy, I'm a 12 year old boy in a 48 year old body. Oh man. <laughs> You're just still on that kick from Justin's show this morning where we were all the pickup lines, the reseller pickup lines. That was pretty funny that uh that one guy was super funny what was his name uh Al alan uh i don't know i can't remember like i said i'm in a daze i can't <laughs> oh man oh good morning separated thing hello from scotland yeah after i'm doing with this uh separated i'm going to go get some hot tea and some honey <laughs> myself <laughs> make this sinus in my throat doll you know soothing 
uh, Anissa, Mike, have you had that sweater shaver ruin any items? No, not at all. I am obviously careful, but you lay your item flat and you just, it's, it's designed not to catch or snag or anything. It has these, uh, see the end here. It's really smooth and that's where you shave it, you know, and, uh, yeah, I've never ruined anything using it. So it's, it's increased the value of a lot of items a lot, doubled the value. So yeah. Def, definitely worth the investment if you sell a lot of clothing. Again, thank you, Karen Henderson, and welcome. Thank you for the super chat. Yep, Don uses one. They're awesome. Alan Cash, that's it. That dude was hilarious this morning on Justin's channel. All the reseller pickup lines. I was laughing and sick, and like my head was hurting. I'm like, stop making me laugh. I can't. <laughs> no. I think that's the worst part about a head cold is my head hurts so bad. You know, even taking meds, it's like, man, my head is pounding. I'm staying hydrated, you know, I pound water, you know, and uh, yeah. Absolutely separated. We were talking about that. I need a little bit, I need a little bit of rye whiskey. But I don't keep it in the house because I really don't drink whiskey. So uh, yeah. Yeah, it was hilarious. Oh, Alan Cash is all is it all in cash or Alan Cash? It's a she. I didn't I didn't know. But she if she was funny. It was hilarious. Karen, our super chatter, appreciate your hard work and sharing even when ill. Take care of lots of fluids and rest. Absolutely. Appreciate it, Karen. Good morning, Jonesboro, flipping Arkansas. How's the railroad yard this morning? Uh yeah, Dawn uh, helps with those peeling, with those balls, sweater balls. Andy's uh, chocolate salty sweater balls. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, and I've never used a battery one. I've, I've always had this corded one. So uh, a good thing about this is you can just keep going and going and going and not worrying about work, running your batteries down. I've literally had sweaters bad enough where i've emptied that little canister on it three or four times but it makes the sweater look great you know so she wasn't this uh, all in cash was hilarious i mean i liked my uh my small flat rate package comment but i thought it was pretty funny but <laughs> don't bother applying if you just have a small flat rate package right <laughs> uh absolutely monty i'll take and that's what you know a lot, i've been clearing out a lot of this old inventory and stuff taking low best offers and stuff i'm just right glad to get rid of it but happy for any sale you know oh that's too bad because she's hilarious anissa johnny b what's up from california yep you're the you're the swap meet king Yeah, I know, Paul, it was everyone, I mean, it's just, I mean, like I said, I'm pretty lucky. This is just a head cold, but um, I, I really hate it for people to have the flu, you know. Because like I said, this is just a sinus head thing, you know. I'd rather have this, like I said, than a stomach issue or a throat issue for sure. When I was in high school, uh, and I've talked about us being poor because we were, you know, we didn't have freaking medical insurance. We didn't, we didn't go to the doctor. We didn't go to the dentist because you, you didn't because you're poor. Just a second. Clean next. But um, when I was in high school, I got what turned out to be strep throat. And the doctor, you know, we didn't go to the doctor. We just tried to treat it at home, you know, you just lay on the sofa and suffer. But it finally got bad enough where I went to the doctor. And the doctor told me if I would have waited probably another day or two, that strep virus would have got made it into my blood system and it would have killed me. Yeah. So another issue with being poor in America, you know, I may not be here today. Oh no, Lex. Mm, I mean, when I'm, when I'm in a daze, when I'm sick, I'm extra careful with my orders too. Cause I'm like, all right, double check this. Like I have, you know, three orders to send out. Like if anything's remotely similar, I have doubles of, you gotta, you know, let me see here. Scroll back up. Sorry. 
cold in Jonesboro. You know, I was just talking to my older sister yesterday to her. And, um, you know, we're going to California in June and we were having our niece. I always have my, I fly my niece out to watch my pets, watch my dogs and my cats. But I think my, my older sister is going to come with her. They're going to drive out and then my sister's going to drive back, but then I'm going to fly my niece back to uh, Memphis. So get my sister out here and load her up with a lot of these excess clothes I have. So, Oh, that's good, Anissa. Oh, the wrong brass duck. You had multiples, yeah. And that's when it happens when you have multiples of a similar but not exact item. Yeah. Absolutely, Chris. And I don't know if All In Cash has does videos or not, but if if she does, like I said, she's hilarious. Oh, yeah, you're just gonna let her keep that one Lex and just send her the other one. That's probably what I would do too if it was a you know a, not a real expensive item. Oh man, it's happened to us all, Anissa. You know, if you do this long enough, you're gonna make the mistake. Doris, it was a and. I will put an affiliate link once this video is done processing. Give it about an hour after we're done, and I'll put an affiliate link if anyone wants to buy one. This is a Wonder Lint. And I got it off Amazon. And like I said, I'll drop an Amazon affiliate link, and I'd appreciate it if you wait if you want to buy one and buy it through the affiliate link because you can get a few pennies from it. Maybe. Uh, oh. Thanks, Anissa. She had written it down. <laughs> so, uh, let me see here. I'm going to scroll back up. Yeah, and that's what a lot of the people do. Uh, sorry, I don't have your name down here. Moronic Pest. But yeah, a lot of people will package things all up at once, but they'll write what it is or... Yeah, I don't know. Everybody has their own process, but yeah. What is it? Was it ill? Yeah. And and I, I told that story about it. I almost did. And my first college advisor, who was a great dude, his, his name was Dr. Darby. He did. He died from strep. Didn't go to the doctor. And uh, yeah, killed him. Yep. And that really struck, that really hit home with me because I was close with the Darbys because actually his wife, uh, Miss Darby, was my third grade math teacher. And he was my first college advisor too. And I'm like, man, just so bad. L, my, my family saved me. They took care of my boys and took me to the doctor until I finally was diagnosed and saved. Yep. Had to have an IV, et cetera. Yeah, it was awful. Yeah, when I had mine, when I was a teenager, I had to go back to the doctor like three or four days in a row to get uh, shots, steroid shots. And, of course, high-powered antibiotics. Uh, Z-Pack was the high-powered one back then. Now it's probably nothing, but, uh, yeah. yeah. Sean's doing research on hazmat. Appreciate that, Sean. Uh Danny, if you could only start eBay with one category, what would it be and why? One category for me, it'd be, unfortunately, it'd be clothing just because there's so much of it available. I like to sell a lot of different things, but for me, it'd be clothing if I started in one category. Just because of availability. Yep, shipping sunshine, sunshine. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm on the way back up, but still only about 50%. So, yeah. Uh, Anissa, you had the guy refuse a package. He didn't open the item, wrote return to sender. And I sent the right ones. That's, that's awesome. You got a, a good buyer there, Anissa, because a lot of them are not good. Thanks, Lex. I appreciate it. I love your channel. Thank you. You guys are why I do it. You know, I like to pass on the information. There's a lot of random marbles rolling around up here, but, uh, yeah. Good morning, Glenn, the swamp picker. Good morning, bud. How's it? And how you doing in Louisiana on this Friday? Let me see here. Well, it's awesome, Lex. It's always a nerve wracking experience buying a house. I've went through it, you know, a few times now in my life. And, uh, yeah, it's always crazy. 
Hope you get it. Absolutely. Thank you, Flippin' Arkansas. Yeah, I got some. We have an awesome Chinese place close to us that we eat maybe once a month, and they have the best chicken noodle soup. I was like, holy crap. <laughs> and I ordered that yesterday. I got a big, you know, like a quart thing of chicken noodle soup waiting on me upstairs. Yep, yep, yep. So if you have a Chinese food place, see if they have chicken noodle soup on the menu. Shipping Sunshine says, Miss Williams was my third grade teacher. Amazing people leave impressions on you, young children. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm, I'm friends on Facebook with some of the best teachers I ever had, like uh, Joanne Steed. I'm friends with her on Facebook, Miss Steed. She was my both my freshman English and my senior English teacher, and she's the best teacher I've ever had. And she's a great person as well. You know, still friends with her to this day. You know, and that's been 25 years ago. She's still teaching. She teaches in uh, at uh, Valley View High School in, in Jonesboro, Arkansas. And she, when, when I was there, of course, I went to Nettleton. And she was teaching at Nettleton. You know, Flipping Arkansas will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> she lives in Jonesboro. You know. oh, it's Hobbs in the background. Yeah, he comes and goes as he pleases. It's really their, the, the pet's house. It's not my house, you know? So I'm just, I just live here. They actually control everything. <laughs> Kitty bomb. Yeah. I'm surprised he's not up here bugging me. He'll usually come up here and say hello. Good morning, Mike. Thank you for popping in. It's always good to see new names in the chat. Thank you for, for uh, participating. Thanks again to Karen Henderson for the uh, super chat. <laughs> Glenn, it's cold in Louisiana, so he's fixing coffee and pancakes at work. That sounds like a pl man with a plan right there. Man with a plan. <laughs> EMM, what's the easiest category for bankers on eBay? I don't know. Anybody want to chime in? I think the easiest, the lowest barrier to entry for in my opinion is coffee mugs because they're cheap easy to research yeah and it's not like they're going to be super fast flips but they're easy oh here he is i knew he'd come up here i don't know if you can see mr hobbs beach right there he's making his way over here slowly oh here he comes mr hobbs making his appearance this morning come here buddy Pops, there he is. Let's say hello to the people. Now I can't see the chat. <laughs> uh, he's fun. He's going to sit right there. Maybe lick my arm a little bit. Okay, so. No doubt Lex swamps in some pancakes this way. Oh, thanks, Danny. I appreciate that. Thumbs up would be great. You know. Yeah, absolutely. Like Chris, he's comfortable with tools and that's what he knows about. So yeah, he's more comfortable with that. So yeah. So it, you know, it all depends on what's available in your area, what you know about, you know, what you enjoy, you know, there are a lot of different things, a lot of different things. Uh, Mike is just starting out and love your videos. Please keep them coming. we Will do Mike, especially, you know, people, you know, more subscribers keep rolling in. And, uh, as long as the channel keeps on growing and people enjoy it and participate, then yeah, absolutely. I'll keep on doing it. Agree, Lex. Agree with that. Yeah, I uh, love the bearded. Said men's hats are cheap and easy. I, I, I sell a lot of hats as well. The price is variety of area. You know, my area, the hats are freaking $5 a piece. So I have to be super picky with them. But in a lot of areas, they're only a buck or 50 cents. So yeah. Yeah. Andy, cup of coffee mugs, ties, hats. Yep. Yeah. They can be, Glenn. So you got to be. Got to be picky because they're all priority mail. I mean, 
there, there's a very, very few you can creep into first class at 15, 16 ounces, but most of them are going to be just over the pound mark. So, yeah, especially modern day, big coffee mugs. Cheap, but very long tail. Absolutely. If you, you know, watch my, what sold video, my last one, there was probably what, three or four coffee mugs in there, but you know, they were long tail. It took months and months and months to sell them, but they sold. And say moronic pest of like it prefers to avoid breakable things, which is a totally valid, you know, point. A Monty gets strep every year and can't take penicillin. Is he allergic? Oh man, yeah, I, I've done the more. Uh, we used to do that all the time when I was a kid. The gargle with warm salt water. Yeah, absolutely. My wife is allergic to penicillin as well, so that's a tough one when you're allergic to penicillin. Everyone that's not though, have you ever had a penicillin shot in your in your hiney? Those things are rough. If you get the wrong nurse giving you that shot in your butt, man, tear your butt up. When I was in the Marines, they would just <laughs> stick it in and blood in your have a big old knot on your butt. And oh. Nathan asked, Does Mr. Hobbs climb around your head waking up in the morning? Not mine, but my wife's. He does. He'll get up there and bite on her hair and put his paw right on her nose. Time to get up. <laughs> I can't see hops. Ah, there we go. You're fine. He's going to clean my arm. I just took a shower, but I'm not clean enough. Uh, Danny says the other thing I get confused on is the shipping. I got to tell you, the FBA, you really get pampered. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because there's a lot of different aspects to shipping. I mean, I can sit here and talk about that for an hour, you know between the, you know, all the different options, not only counting the U UPS, FedEx and postal service, but each sub option between those, you know, and then you throw in cubic and pirate ship in the mix and it just made it more and more confusing. <laughs> yeah. That's the important thing, Chris, is that they cold your coffee. Yep. Oh, thanks Monty. I appreciate that. Like I said, once this, this video will take 30 minutes or so to process and I'll edit it and, uh, add of course my thumbnail and that affiliate link to it. <laughs> Lex, it's funny. I got to grow a set and get past my fear to do Amazon. I got to find the time. To, I mean, I still have a bunch of merchant fulfilled stuff on Amazon, but um, I need to kick it in the gear and do my uh, FBA again. I'm, I know I'm leaving a lot of money on the table, but it's a time issue. It's not a, you know, knowledge issue. Isn't that funny, Sean? The Glade air freshener. Yeah, Chris, the bearded picker has done a lot of kind of a basic intros and stuff talking about FBA and eBay. Uh, Scott's a really good dude. Almost everyone here probably knows about him, but yeah, Scott, the bearded picker. Oh, thanks, Savvy Seagull. I, you know, when I, I did this redo after the new year and I redid all my shipping supplies and stuff and uh, yeah, to be, you know, you got to be organized to be efficient and that's the name of the game for me in 2019 is organ organization and efficiency yes they do like vintage toys dolls uh, i don't do very many dolls but uh, i have i've picked up some vintage barbie dolls and of course american girl dolls when i when i find them cheap enough I, yeah, I don't know about that, Danny. I don't, I don't know much about the multi-channel fulfillment stuff. So I don't know if Andy is still here, if he does it or anybody else in the chat. So, yeah. I don't think I have, I mean, I have my stuff right here to pack up and ship. I actually got one more thing to get out of my stacks up there, but it's nothing like that'd be crazy. So I'm not worried about packing and shipping right now. Absolutely, Monty. There's been, you know, back when I was disorganized, there's several times I ran out of stuff. I'm like, crap, I ran out of regional rate A1 boxes. And, you know, it cost me money. Being disorganized costs you money, not only time, but in real dollars and cents. So. Well, that's cool, Shipping Sunshine. Let us know how that goes later this year. Yeah. Good morning, Steampunk Town. Thank you for popping in, bud. Well, that's awesome, Glenn. Uh, 
let me see sean uh are we still talking about yeah let us know what happens with that sean absolutely yeah so i think that's about it guys i'm at 45 minutes not too bad if you're considering i f didn't feel like doing it at all but uh thanks to karen henderson for doing the super chat if anyone you know about the five or ten minute warning here if anyone has any questions or anything let us know so <laughs> does it does it look weird the depth perception i can <laughs> it sounds best if it's right here you know and uh it, it's still a good enough mic it picks me up if i'm away and it has different settings on it but uh it sounds best if i'm right here yeah Okay, guys. Um, so I will, you know, that sweater shaver I talked about, I will add that to Amazon affiliate link. Give me 30 minutes to an hour or so, and I'll add that. Uh, but thanks, guys, for popping in. Like I said, thanks again to Karen for the super chat. Uh, what is day Friday? So, yeah, that's it until we go out uh, thrifting this weekend. It depends on how I feel what we do, but I definitely will go at least to the one thrift store. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, guys. Hit the thumbs up on your way out. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next monday our live video for this monday yep see you peace